In some of the other videos, we've taken a look at using LightWaves Dynamics to animate the fibers that FiberFX generates. I thought we could take a look in this video at animating fibers without using Dynamics. So there's a bunch of different ways that we can go about doing it. This is one way. Say we have a, a field of uh, grass and we wanted to have either wind passing through it or we wanted to um, you know, give the appearance of, uh, of something rolling over the grass, uh, pressing it down and displacing it. Uh, one way that we could go about doing that is by taking advantage of a null. So what I'm going to do is just uh, add a null to the scene. Okay, we'll just leave the default name null. And it's uh, right here. And I'm just going to move it off to the side right there. And then on frame 60, here comes my glorious uh, animation skills, two keyframe animation. From 0 to 60, we're just passing through uh, this field. Okay, so nothing special, just a simple uh, animation of that null passing through the field. And what I want is when the, uh, this null passes through, I want it to press down, displace the fur that's being generated. So let's go ahead and hop over to Fiber Effects. I already have it, as you can see in OpenGL, I already have it active. Uh, just saved the time to set that up. And what I'm going to do is come down to the Gravity attribute, go to the Texture Editor, and uh, for layer type, I'm going to choose gradient. For input parameter, I'm going to pick object distance. And for the object, I'm going to choose null. And I'm going to say when it's um, uh, right on top of the null, let's do, uh, let's try 200. And when it gets uh, farther away, let's do zero. And we can um, decide where we want to uh, place this. Um, Let's see, we've got a 5 meter grid, 10 meters. Let's just kind of see what happens when, uh, when we use this setting. So I'm going to close this window down and um, slide through. And I can see that it is pushing it down. Let's push it down even more. So I'm going to set the value to 300. And let's uh, just refresh OpenGL. And let's push it down to 350. Okay, so we definitely have it pushing down. Let's, let's take a look at this. I'm just going to kind of scrub through. And you can see that as the null passes through, based on the distance of the null from zero out, and we can determine how uh, large of a, a radius we want uh, based on just moving that, that second key in the, in the gradient. Okay, now we're not limited to just gravity. We can really play with this. We could use clump and things like that, but let's take a look at using splay. I think splay would be a good one. I'm just going to come over here and copy uh, this setup and then come over to splay and paste it. Now, I have a feeling that 350 uh, for the value of, of splay is going to be too much. Let's just try 100. Okay. And let's get towards the end. Yeah, there we go. It's really, it's not just gravity that's leaning it over. Now we've got, um, now we've got some splay going on. And let's just increase that value a little more just to see uh, what we can get. Okay, that's even better. Okay, so we could go and adjust uh, other attributes, but let's just see what happens when we use gravity and when we use splay. So I'm just going to close this window as well scrub through and as you can see using a simple null and some gradients we can animate the, f the fibers on this uh, geometry uh, we can have it pushing down and kind of um, splaying out just by the distance to this null there are a lot of other ways that we can go about animating fibers that are generated with fiber effects but this is just one example and again it's easy to set up and uh, you can get a lot of control just based off of the different attributes using the same gradient with just slightly different values uh, for the distance to object.